I love to travel and nearly everywhere I go, I end up using an Airbnb. And so in today's video, we are going to do some data analysis on Airbnb data using SQL. I'll walk you through where I got the data set, how I got it into my SQL and what business problems I tried to solve and actually going through solving them using SQL. So originally for this project, I was hoping to get Airbnb data from Utah because I live in Utah and I was really actually am curious about what it's like to own an Airbnb. I've been thinking about investing in one, but unfortunately it's so hard to actually get Airbnb data. Airbnb does a great job with their security team, making sure it's very difficult to web scrape their site. One of the things they do is make sure that your account requires a phone number. So I don't have multiple phone numbers, so I can't create a burner account. And so it's just harder to actually use. And since I'm building 30 data science projects in 30 days, I don't really have the time to actually write a really good web scraper to go through Airbnb. So I was stuck with finding a different data solution and I found Inside Airbnb. Now Inside Airbnb has a couple different data sets that they periodically posts from different cities. So I selected one of my favorite cities to visit in the world, Austin, Texas, to do this analysis on. By the way, if you haven't been to Austin, Texas, I highly recommend it. I was just there in May with a bunch of other data content creators and documented the trip in this video right here. You can check it out after you watch this one. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you download the compressed CSVs to your local machine, and I use some sort of unzipping tool to unzip them to regular CSVs. But I wanna do this project in SQL, so I still have to figure out how to get the CSVs from a CSV inside of SQL. So I wrote this Python code that did that all for me. Basically, it just goes through each one of the CSVs, uploads it into a pandas data frame, and sends that pandas data frame to MySQL using SQL Alchemy. By the way, I'll have all the data and all the code, so the CSVs as well as this Python script, as well as the SQL queries I'll be writing, available to you for free. Down in the description, there's a link that will take you to the resources and you can get them for free. Once I ran the script and actually had the CSVs inside of MySQL and created those data tables, I was ready to get going. In this case, I put myself as the key business stakeholder because I am interested in becoming an investor. And basically I wanted to see how do Airbnbs do in Austin, Texas? I love Austin. I would definitely consider having some sort of Airbnb there if it made sense financially. So I came up with two main questions that I would like to have answered. One, how much are the top Airbnb earners making in Austin, Texas? And two, which hosts that already operate and own Airbnbs could be potential customers for an Airbnb cleaning business idea that I have. So let's start with question one. So how much you make is going to be based off of your nightly price multiplied by how many nights you are booked. The data does give us a price column, but we'll have to go ahead and clean that up. So here we are in the MySQL workbench. I use select star from listings to go ahead and get all of the columns in all of the rows for this particular table. And then we can scroll over. It's kind of hidden over here on the right hand side, but we can actually find the price column right here. But now we need to clean that right because it is not a number. It has that dollar sign in front of it, which is actually making it a string, which is not good for calculations and averages and sums and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get that cleaned up. So there's a couple different ways to do this, but what I did was I replaced the dollar sign in the price column with nothing. And I cast that entire column as unsigned, which will basically turn it into an integer. There you go. You see, I have the price, which is $111, just changed to 111. Now it's not only just about your price. You also have to be booked out at that price. So there's no booked column, but there is this interesting availability column. So there is the amount of days available in the next 30 days, next 60 days, 90 days, and 365 days. And so if we subtract, for instance, 30 from the availability 30, you would basically be left with 24, right? So 30 minus six is equal to 24. And we can assume that's how many nights it's actually booked out for the next 30 days. And so what we can do is create this query right here, which gets the ID, the listing URL, and the name of the listing, as well as how many days in the next 30 days is it booked out? the nightly price, and then that was the total projected revenue for the next month, which is basically just the how many times are you booked out times the nightly price. And get this huge list of the top 20 Airbnb operators in the Austin, Texas area. Now I do wanna pause and just take a moment and say I investigated these and it turns out a lot of these you can't book for the next year. So either they're just uber popular and they've already booked out an entire year worth of listings or probably more likely they don't have it up for booking the next year. So you'd wanna like tease that out somehow. So maybe you'd go into the bookings available in the next 365 days. And if it is zero, you would not include it in this analysis. But I challenge you to take some time and think through how would you solve this business problem? 
Next, I was thinking, well, maybe I don't actually want to start an Airbnb. Maybe I just want to start an Airbnb servicing company, specifically in cleaning. The cleaning fees when you're booking Airbnbs are always so large, and it's actually like the only human element that is required for an Airbnb business. And so I think there's a lot of potential where you could use better cleaning services to have a better Airbnb operating system. I was wondering if I could maybe create like an awesome list of potential customers for my Airbnb cleaning business based off of the idea of I'm going to find the hosts who have the most complaints about their listing being dirty. And those people are probably likely to be open to my pitch of, hey, let's get you a new Airbnb cleaning service. For this one, I took the reviews table and actually did an inner join on the listings where the listing ID matched the listing ID. So basically we have all the reviews, but we have the additional listing information from the listing table as well. But we don't want all reviews, right? We just want the ones where the comments have the word dirty somewhere in them. And even then we don't want the comments Comments, we actually want the hosts. We want the name of the hosts that have the most reviews with the word dirty in it. So we use a simple group by right here and we include the host ID, the host URL, the host name, and then that count, which will be the number of dirty reviews. And we get this awesome potential customer list. For instance, Wander Jaunt, you have 133 reviews that mention the word dirty. Would you like to try Avery's Airbnb cleaning service for a low discount price this week? Wander Jaunt has no chance no chance. So while I make a couple calls to try to bring Avery's Airbnb cleaning service off the ground, why don't you guys check out some of these other projects that I've done recently that I think you'll really enjoy because it'll help you build out your data science portfolio. Bye!